Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a whip and chat. I'm going to be working on my cross stitch pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs. This is called QS, which someone told me stands for quick stitch. So apparently these are supposed to be slightly easier Heaven and Earth Designs. I actually highly recommend. I, now I used to just look for the mini Heaven and Earth Designs because I was not going to do like some ginormous one, but I think this quick stitch ones are also a good one to do as diamond paintings because you're not too like going crazy trying to do some really intricate thing. So this one is called Butterfly by Ching Chao Quick. Um, I got the pattern for six dollars. I am not using this. I'm not using. Where's my pen? My pen. I'm, I I did buy a blank canvas, but I'm not using the blank canvas. Um. And this should be about a 43.75 by 60.75, 6, 60.75. Huh. To fit this into my 45 by 60 inch portfolio, I'm pondering, should I not do the last three rows? Because 0.75 is, is three rows of diamond painting drills. Like if I don't do the last three rows. If I don't do this last three rows, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, it'll probably still fit, right? In my portfolio book, that's only 0.75 centimeters. What is that? That's only like yay big. So I'm hoping it'll still fit in my portfolio book, if, even if it's like that went wide. All right, so this thing has 50 colors um, and I am using transparency paper to do this, like the method that diamond painting between the lines um figured out so i've done this here um that part and then i after after i finished this part i was like you know what i shouldn't put them together until the very end so what i've been doing is so i did another part this part should be right here i think yeah, it should be around here, um, and then these should be like down below, uh, my camera's too, these should be down below, and then there's this section should be here, and then this section should be there, and um, I'm going to be working on finishing this section here. I did already start it, but I didn't finish it. Um, and then as you can see, I'm, I haven't been completing this last square here, mainly because my plan was to do it after I put them together, because I was afraid that if I diamond painted all the way, and then I tried to put them together, there's going to be an obvious line between each page and I didn't want the obvious like you know the line like you know when you're trying to stick two things together you always see that like kind of line where you put the two things together I don't want to be able to see that line where I put the two things together so I purposely didn't diamond paint the whole page and I'm going to put it together and then diamond paint the part that is missing and therefore hopefully I will stop and then hopefully that will make it so that it's not an obvious line and I think it worked out since, since I did that same thing for this one here can you tell where I put it together you don't see that obvious line in between them but I think I'm gonna finish all the little pieces first and then put it together instead of finish one piece finish another piece and then no so that way I'll be able to store them in here Instead of like now, I'm like, I've been kind of like, I don't know, where am I going to store this? <laughs> so, so yeah, that's, a, that's how much I've done. I think I'm missing one. So I think I didn't print the last page. Either that or I lost it. Um, but the last page, like in the corner, that's probably like just this wide, but just this tall. I'm missing it. So <laughs> it's somewhere. I don't know. I'm thinking either I lost it because it's a small piece or I just didn't print it. Oh, you know what it was? Is I was printing these like half on one transparency paper and half on another transparency. So then I kind of was waiting to find, to print out the another Heaven and Earth Designs one so that I could 
share the transparency. I think that's why I didn't print the last one. See, I don't even remember half the things I do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be working on this one. I was actually, today's video, I was planning to work on one of these and then do like, I was probably, it was going to be this one. No, oh no, it was this one. I was going to do this one and then I was, but I was only going to work on like that big of a section there because so that I could leave stuff to, but then I was working on this last night and I didn't finish it and I figure I should just finish this section on camera instead of work on a new section. Or should I just work on this section like I was planning? Let's just finish this section. <laughs> So, and I'm gonna, I'm working on this like silicone thing here because I noticed when I was putting it directly onto my, my background here, I could see these lines really well and it was kind of hindering me, like my background is kind of, because this is a transparency paper, it's clear, it was kind of hindering me from being able to see. Um, the stuff while this obscures the line enough that I can actually read the print. Um, I was working on top of my light pad, but I think I prefer this just because it's softer <laughs> than the light pad and I'm not used to working on a light pad. So, so yeah, um, I, a whole large amount of the edges are not being done because that, those are the ones that I'm going to do when I plate, put them together. And this one's like in the middle somewhere. All right, so I have my drills here and I have my appropriate butterfly um, box here, which I didn't mean to do, but it, it happens. And, and then um, my, my nails here have like dragonflies and butterflies. So I was like, hey, look, I should work on this. <laughs> nah, yes, I'm using my <laughs> nails as inspira inspiration of what, what I should work on. Um, all right. So start my timer here. It's it's I've noticed that when I was using Pattern Keeper, I didn't have to care what the symbols were too much because it would just highlight it on the Pattern Keeper. While now I do have to care about the symbols and and I've noticed that oh I'm zoomed in way too much. Eh, let's just not zoom in, right? We don't need to zoom in. Um I I noticed that um, the, there's a lot of symbols that are very similar. Like I noticed it. I was like, like, see, look at this, nine hundred and seven twenty. They look very, very similar. There's like the three lines here, and then they're both orange. And one just has the line across, and and then like these both these blues here. <laughs> Look at that. Um, those those were kind of like, eh, why are you doing this to me? Um, but, oh, and then like there's this one. What's Where's the other one? Uh, there's, well, these ones weren't too bad because they're completely different colors. But I don't have the color on the pattern, so I have <laughs> nothing. But I, when I was using Pattern Keeper, I didn't really care what what symbol they were because I was just kind of following the pattern but but now I have to care I have to care a little bit okay so start my timer here I'm gonna work on this color here I did replace some of the drills with um what do you call that you know what it's a little too bright for me it's uh, like it's shining weirdly that's the problem with diamond painting is everything is kind of shiny. So <laughs> taking the video is sometimes annoying because the lights are reflecting on it um, in a certain way that it makes it difficult to diamond paint, but it makes it much nicer looking on camera. So that's actually something I was thinking of doing um, this year was upgrading my filming equipment. I don't know if you know this, but I'm just recording this on an old tablet. And tablets apparently were never made to be good video, um, to be good video quality. I think I'm, my quality is 
okay, but not like exceptional. So I think, um, I think any, any upgrade in my camera recording will be an upgrade. It's just that I don't really have a, um, I don't know. I'm not really that into photography video, the video part of the, the, of the YouTube thing. It's not as entertaining to me. Some people are get really into like the editing of the videos and have fun doing that. I don't. I, I like diamond painting the video stuff. Um, I'm just kind of like, eh, if it looks clear, it's clear enough. Right. Um, so then when I'm, when I'm like searching for like, what camera should I buy? I have no clue. Like I, I was thinking of buying, I think it was, uh, okay. So the first thing I do is I go to the slightly bigger channels. Like I notice a lot of the diamond painting channels don't list what camera they're using so i can't really use that so then i start going into non diamond painted diamond painting channels that actually list what camera they're using and then i go to it i'm like nope i'm not spending a thousand dollars on a camera nope not doing that so <laughs> i'm like okay i need to find some smaller channels but what's weird is even like the smaller channels or like that list their video equipment. I, apparently, I must just be a massive cheapskate or something, but people are willing to spend a good chunk of money on this video filming stuff. So I'm like, okay, what I'm looking for is something like five in the 500-ish dollar range, maybe. Um, if I could find something like 300, I don't know. See, am I, see the thing is, at some point, um, if you go too low, there's no real point in upgrading because how much better is the, well, the video will probably be much better just because I'm using a tablet to record this, but how much better would it be? But yeah, no, I'm just kind of like, I don't know which one to pick. They all kind of sound the same. I know nothing about what all the little specs mean. I look up what the specs mean and I still don't know what how that's going to affect my thing. My All I really want is that it will be able to zoom in I'll be that and also that I'll be able to record long videos without being like, oh my gosh, I need like five batteries to do it because I record, I record long videos and I record them continuously in a single day kind of thing. So I need to be able to keep recording and not be like, oh, I have to wait. I can't record anymore. I don't have any more battery. So it, and I'm trying to find that. I was like, can this be charged while? being used because my tablet you know you know your phones can do it like you're you're you you just put the cord on you can still use your phone your tablet while it's charging can these cameras do that and there's like no information on that because probably because most people don't charge their camera and use it at the same time i don't know because you know i'm in i'm in a single location i'm not like traveling somewhere off to blah, 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 and um, I have access to a charging, uh, I have ch access to charging, See, this is the problem, There's so many symbols, um, I have access to charging, so I don't need to, you know what, let's just find whichever is the first one I can find, uh, should I just, why can't I find, there. Um, so I, I just need that information. Like can, I just need to know, can this continuously charge? Will it focus on the product that enough that you can see it? Will it t take my voice? Um, because I don't plan to use a microphone. It's just microphones, at least uh, like, a, 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 um, cause, I don't want to have to charge a microphone separately. I'm already kind of like, yeah, I don't want to, I want to be able to record when I want to record kind of thing and not have to be like, oh, I have to charge the camera. I have to charge the batteries. 
So yeah, I think there was nothing obvious whether these items could be, the, the batteries could be charged while in use. Um, so, so yeah, I'm like, and I don't want to spend like, I don't know when I was looking for things for like in the $500 range and I was like, okay, I guess I might have to increase my, my number, which I'm like, and I'm like, but I don't even care <laughs> too much. <laughs> yeah. And I have yet to have anyone be like, Joan, the video quality of your videos is horrible. No one has told me that. I've been told early on that the lighting was too dark and, um, and I agreed with that because I just didn't have enough lighting. Once I had enough lighting, I still was using the same stuff and it was bright enough, I guess. But see, the thing is, yeah, I think, and I see the thing, most people actually, according to the analytics, watch my channel on a mobile device. <laughs> so do I really need that good of a quality? But I was just thinking I should. It should be one of those things that I kind of upgrade um, so that I'll be able to do certain, like my current setup, I have a really hard time picking up um, anything that glows in the dark. So, and, and then I was using my phone, but my phone was kind of hit or miss whether it would pick up glow in the dark stuff. So then I was like, hey, you know, maybe if I get something better, I'll be able to show the glow in the dark stuff. Um, maybe I'll have slightly, um, maybe it'll be slightly clearer. I won't have to be like, my lighting sucks. Um, And things like that but I've noticed a lot of the cheaper cameras you might as well just not buy them because you might as well just be using your phone I could use my phone too but I don't like to use my phone for recording because what if I need to what if like you know I get a call or something I'd rather I'd rather have it be separate um, but yeah I'm, I'm just like hmm so I'm contemplating buying a camera I just don't know what and I don't know how much I'm willing to spend on the thing. But I figure any camera I buy will be considered a business expense and... Right, so... I did, I did just, I did like do my preliminary, um, I did my preliminary like input of my tax information my taxes stuff and this year I actually or this year or well, last year I guess um I made enough money on my YouTube channel that um it was more than my expenses so yay I guess profit um but then you know I have to pay taxes on it so so I'm like, you know, the more expenses I have, the less taxes I'll have to pay, which is kind of, yeah. So I'm like, I should buy stuff just for it to be a business expense and so that not all the extra m money goes to taxes. So I was like, I was like, what can I buy that's, because I, other than buying more diamond paintings, I kind of feel like I already have all the accessories I could possibly need famous last words right oh, I feel like I've had I have all the accessories I possibly can need um I can I can buy more diamond paintings but I also have like I'm sure many of you have you have that massive stash where it's just like mocking you and be like Joan you're never gonna finish all of us why do you keep adding to it <laughs> um So yeah, I could I could buy more diamond paintings. I, I think I've already exhausted most of the accessories I could get unless I start just buying different types of other accessories. Um, but yeah, I was like, okay, what else can? <laughs> 
But you know, this is assuming that I make as much money on YouTube as I did last year. Um, I don't know if last year was just kind of one of those anomaly years. Like if, oh man, I missed all of this age over here. Um, <laughs> I don't know if last year was an anomaly year, um, because like the end of last year, the ad revenue went up a lot for me, and I thought at first it was because of the election, and there was so many political ads. Sorry for all the political ads. Um, I was like, wow, why am I making so much money on the ad revenue? Um, but nope, it went back down to normal now although you know i saw i saw in my milestone thing on youtube apparently january 2023 was the most views and watch hours i've ever had in one month on youtube so thank you guys um welcome to any new folks watching the channel uh i figure maybe january is when some folks are starting out new things and discovered my channel then so i hope you guys enjoy But yeah, January 2023 apparently was the most views and watch hours my channel has ever gotten. Prior to that, the 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 highest one was August 2022. So, but yeah, even even though January was my um, highest view and watch hour. It's not it. I didn't make as much money as I did like as, as the end of 2023. I mean 2022. I was just like, what is going on? But it's more comparable to what I was making most of the rest of last year. Why can't I find this symbol? I've been trying to find it for the last... <laughs> Too many symbols. See, when I was using Pattern Keeper, oh, there it is. I didn't didn't spend that long finding the symbol because you click the symbol and it tells you which DMC. I was for a little bit using Pattern Keeper in conjunction with this, so I had Pattern Keeper, Keeper open um, while doing this. And and then I would find the the... The storage container right away but it takes effort to set up the pattern keeper on the side too so I just stopped doing it um, but perhaps I should instead of spending all the time looking for this the bottle because these are actually pretty symbol heavy But I still think this is a slightly easier way of going about diamond painting these since you're not counting. It, it does take a little bit more initial setup and you do have to put together the, the patterns in the end. But I think in the end it'll actually be cheaper to do because the transparency, see I was already figuring that so like my canvas would have cost me, my canvas cost me six dollars. This transparency I used seven sheets of transparency paper and six sheets of double-sided tape. The double-sided tape was probably the most expensive expense on this. I forgot how much it was um, but I think in the end um, combining all of those was cheaper than the six dollars I spent on on a blank canvas. Uh, so I think in the end it's a little bit cheaper. And I'm using my spare drills on this one, um, augmented by a couple drills that I bought just so that I would be able to um, have all the drills for this. That's what I've been doing is I've been, uh, this one I actually kitted up in, <laughs> in October, 2021. I kitted this up in October, 2021. Um, and I initially kitted up in October, 2021. I bought the drills, um, extra drills that I needed for this 
in during an, uh, the AliExpress 1111 sale. And then I finished kitting this up uh, in apparently March 2022. It took me that long to kit, to finish kitting up my Heaven Nerd designs. So, so that's, that's pretty much what I've been doing is I initially kit up with my stash and then I, I see what I need, but then I've been kitting up several Heaven and Earth designs at once so that when I go buy the extra drills I need, I am doing it for several kits and not just one. And I think that, so that, you know, it kind of saves me the money on buying the drills a little bit. And then usually I do one painting, one Heaven and Earth designs one, all with drills that I bought instead of my stash drills. It's been working out so that there's never a point where I'm just like, I don't have the color, so I don't finish it. It's a, well, let's start with what I have and then document what I need to buy. And this one, let me tell you though, I'm actually very happy with it. It's very colorful. It's turning out really, really nice. And I do have, how many more? You know what? I, fin I finished two Heaven and Earth designs last year from the 2021. This is the third one. Um, and then if I, when I finish this, it will be all of the 2021 Heaven and Earth designs that um, I bought will be finished. I did buy one a Heaven and Earth, Heaven and Earth designs um, pattern in 2020 that I still have not finished. And then last year, 2022, I bought one, two, three, four designs. So, um, which one? I might work on one of those next after this one. I don't know which one. And I'm still pondering my, okay, so now that I've done this, I think I'm going to have a slightly different strategy <laughs> using the transparency thing. Well, at least my adhesive, doing my adhesive, the next one I do. And see if that works out. So when I, when I kit these up, I don't have like the crazy tons of extras that um, regular diamond paintings Put because I'm like, I don't need tons of extras, I just need just enough. Um, but now I'm like, look at how much left I have in here. But I'm like, I I'll trust that I kitted this up correctly, that I shouldn't run out. I'm actually almost done. I, I just have like these edges here, and then the two smaller parts at the bottom, and then the little tiny slivers at the edge. So um, I'm probably, mm, yeah, I probably have more than half of this done already so and the orange part is not that much right i have noticed though since i'm using my double-sided tape on the sheets i have not been able to use my glue dots in my pen and stuff like that and because I, I normally use glue dots and double-sided tape in my multi-placer. I have not been able to use that when doing these because it's not stick it's too sticky. This is the can the double-sided tape on this is not it's not sticky enough to win. So I've been using pink wax on these. And I'm like now I'm like, oh yeah, that's all the problems with using pink wax. <laughs> But it's, it's been working out. And I think, though, I might have to seal this after I'm done with it just because my double-sided tape doesn't seem that strong. Although, I mean, it's in there. <laughs> so. It's just that in my first part here, I had noticed, I had noticed some of them being missing. So I was like, huh, is it? Like in this first part, I looked at it yesterday and I was like, oh, look, I'm missing some. Is it, did it pop off? Did I never do it? I could have just never done it. Like, you know how you have those ones, the holes that you miss because, okay, see, that one is the one with the line. So, of 
course, the ones that are very similar are right next to each other, too. The one good thing about doing it this way, though, is you can work on larger sections like this instead of like the when you're using the pattern keeper you usually only have like a little section open because that's like the only thing you could look at at the same time so so this okay so i've been talking about this um so my week this week, so it actually snowed, like I'm, I'm recording this on the Sunday before this video is getting posted. Um, I woke up this morning and I opened my window and I'm like, oh, look, we got some snow. I got about like maybe like that much snow. Um, it start, it's already melting. So, but on Thursday, it snowed, it snowed like Wednesday night, I guess. So on Thursday... I open my window and I go to work really early, so um, it's before 6 a.m. I open my window, it's dull, it's still dark, um, and I'm like, there was just like maybe like this much snow, like not even an inch of snow. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just go to work. Yeah, <laughs> there was a couple kind of dicey areas, um, icy, um, well dicey could work too, a couple icy areas, and <laughs> since it was still early, um, the sun hadn't come out yet. The stuff hadn't melted. So yeah, it was, there was a point where there was a portion that I was just like, oh my gosh, this part is slippery. One good thing is since it was early and I was on a side street, there was no one else on the street other than me. So even if I did a little swervy, <laughs> I didn't hit anyone. I didn't go into a ditch, but, um, and, and then when I got to work, there was only like two people there at that point and then I was like how was your drive in they're like yeah it was it was not too bad it was a, there was a little part that was icy and I'm like yeah the same thing happened but when I got to work though my workplace which is about 20 minutes drive from my house was not that I like it was it was barely any snow they probably only got like like just a list just like a enough snow just to coat the top but that's it now it was very very little snow So yeah, um, and then and then as people started coming in, um, people were like, yeah, there was, I saw a couple of cars in a ditch and I was like, okay, glad I was not one of the ditch cars. Um, I was, I'm glad I'm not one of, I was not one of the people in the ditch. Um, But yeah, um, it doesn't normally, I, I see, I kind of feel like I say this, it doesn't normally snow here because it doesn't. Um, this is like the snow is like some weird anomaly, but I feel like it's becoming less of a weird anomaly and becoming more common. I even saw on the news that like um, the San Francisco Bay Area in California got snow and I was like, wow, I lived there for years like I grew up there um and we never got snow and then I'm like now they're getting snow what is going on with with the weather so yeah weather is doing weird things I hope this doesn't mess up the crops and stuff like I remember last year I saw on the news um because um there's a lot of cherries that are grown in Washington state. I remember seeing on the news last year that apparently last year the spring was too, I forgot if they said it was too wet or too cold. It might've been both, too wet or too cold that the cherries, cherry yield was lesser because of that. Um, and I also noticed I have, I have, I got, um, within the, I planted a, a apple tree in my backyard. It's still tiny. Um, but the first year, 
after the first year it was on, I actually, actually two apples actually grew on the thing. And that was in uh, 2021. 2022, nothing. I got nothing from that. But then it's like I said, it's small. So I'm not surprised. I was surprised I even got two the previous year. So if, if it's anything like that, which I know nothing, like I, like I said in my, in a previous video that I'm such a black thumb, um, I'm just surprised when things stay alive. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's still alive. I didn't kill it. Um, but yeah, my last year, my apple tree, which as far as I know is still alive, <laughs> had some leaves, but it didn't get the apple, the two apples at least that I got the previous year. Um, but yeah, my tree is still small. I don't expect, I don't expect much from it. Um, so, so yeah, if, if, if we're getting weird weather, I'm kind of afraid for the agricultural area of Washington state. Although I did see cherries like being sold already right now and I'm like, is this, it seems kind of weird timing, um, like fresh cherries. So I don't know where they're coming from. I should have read, I should have read product of, you know, like usually fruit says product of blah, blah, blah. So I should have read it. Um, I didn't buy any, but I saw them in the grocery store. They were, they were pretty expensive per pound. That's why I didn't buy any. Um, but I saw them, I was like, huh, it seems a little early for, for cherry season, but maybe somewhere in the world cherries are growing and they're importing them. Oh, I think in March is when the mangoes start showing up. <laughs> they don't grow locally here. I think we import them from maybe Mexico or something, but I'm like, ooh, mangoes. Cause I know it's usually around um, spring, I think around, it's usually around my sister's birthday, which is in March that I start seeing the boxes of mangoes at the, um, Filipino grocery stores. And I've seen them also in other grocery stores, but they're, they're usually just cheaper at the Filipino grocery store. So got some mangoes. <laughs> brown color. I know it's a brown color. See, I got, I've been working on, uh, no, I'm wrong. Apparently it's not a brown color, it's green. <laughs> That's all. And this is one of the ones that I replaced with an AB. Um, I just kind of, I replaced, how many did I replace? One, two, three, four, five, five colors with ABs here. Um, I did, I was going to replace this pink color with an AB, but I just thought it was too much already. So I didn't replace it, but I have it there. And if you're new to diamond painting, you're like, what in the world's an AB? I don't know if you can tell. See, maybe if I have a better camera, you'll be able to tell. <laughs> See, these ones have like this lovely coating here that kind of gives it like this metallic-y look. And they just shine a little bit differently. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Like, See, there's some ABs here. These are ABs over here. There's some ABs here. And you can probably see a little bit of it shining slightly differently, uh, depending on how the light hits it. <laughs> Yeah, there's another reason to get a better camera, perhaps my stuff. These things are little tiny pieces. Maybe they will just show up a little bit nicer. I'm not sure if I could get past the, you know, shininess that diamond paintings are. Um, the glue and then the plastic covering over them. I do have a problem sometimes show, get showing the picture on camera, especially with the, um, like, the plastic covering over diamond paintings is shiny. The glue is shiny. So it makes like adding extra light 
to recording a lot more difficult than you think. Um, and I unfortunately am like my house doesn't get the best lighting. So a lot of the lights I use is, you know, lights I turn on. And it's actually sunny today and it's still, I'm, it's not that bright in here. It's sunny but cold and there's snow. One more over here. All right, so, so yeah, I said it snowed on uh, this week. Work's been a little bit crazy we got a, we had another power outage and and our backup um they call it the ups the uninterruptible power supply guess what got interrupted so it's not uninterruptible <laughs> power supply it didn't turn on so so the power outage happened like on monday and monday last week was President's Day, so it was a holiday for us. So we came in on Tuesday, and they were like, "Yeah, the, there's no power. We're trying to fix fix it." They did fix it, but then they found out because of the power outage that the uninterruptible power supply was not working. So on Friday, they they um, had a scheduled power outage, and at the, in the afternoon, so it was after all of us left. We had to turn off everything, and and scientific equipment sometimes doesn't like being turned off. It takes a while sometimes for it to to um, stabilize after being turned off. And then uh, at like six p.m. on Friday, I look at my email because. So what I why I should stop doing work after hours, <laughs> um, but I look at my email and it says that they were able to fix what they were planning to fix, but in the process of fixing it, they found something else needed to be replaced, and um, they had to order the part. The part won't be in until this coming Wednesday, and they want to schedule another power outage for next Friday or this coming Friday. For you guys um well i guess that is the next friday and i was like and it, it's making me ponder like is it worth the effort to turn some of these on we might leave some of them off depending on if we're going to use them or not but it's very disruptive but i get it sometimes you don't know things are broken until they're tested And then I'm pondering, I was reading this article that um, with how expensive um, interest rates are now or something, people are likely going to stay where they're, where they're at for a while. And that might be me because right now my, my interest rate is really low and I wouldn't be able to get that low of an interest rate if I move. So... But they were saying that people are living in, like, after a house is 20, about 20 years old, then um, things start needing to be renovated in some way. And I'm like, um, yeah, my house is from 2007, so it's getting closer <laughs> to being 20 years old. Why can't I find this this symbol? Um, it's getting closer to 20 years old, so I'm like, <laughs> what money do I have to <laughs> put aside to pay for house house stuff? Yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm I don't see the thing is 
to me if it looks okay I don't really need to renovate so I, I don't I need I don't need to follow the latest style my mentality is hey you know if I skip one st um one style thing maybe what my current setup is the style is gonna come back <laughs> like currently like all my doors are the brown wood color ones and right now I think the style is to have the white white doors and stuff I'm like you know what I'm just gonna hold off maybe the wood look will come back <laughs> Because it's still perfectly fine. The all of my doors are perfectly fine. I my paint looks perfectly fine. I just don't see the need to renovate it, so it's just gonna stay as is. Um, and I'm just holding off on that. It's gonna come back in style. <laughs> yep, the wood, the wood look. It'll come back in style, right? But, uh, and I'll replace things as needed. I am thinking of putting in the central AC though. It was one of those things I wanted to do last year, but last year everything was so expensive last year and there was supply yeah. issues. So I'm hoping this year, I don't know, maybe not as many people are going to be doing these these things and things will be cheaper I don't know I guess I'll see um, I did see that um, my neighbor company got, and I was like well my next door neighbor got it from them at least I know they will and they're also the people who had installed my current furnace so I, at least you know it's their own system that they're going to be upgrading and my neighbor told me that they got their they got their they did it at the right time they they got their Central AC installed in 2020 um, and they told me that the place the place that did it um, they have this sale in March and so then I was like oh okay last year so last year I go look into to doing it um, but they apparently last year they didn't do the sale in March because they were having issues getting supp the supplies of the air conditioning units. So my guess is, and I had called them and I asked them for like how much these things were gonna be and they told me and I was like, okay, that's a lot more than what my next door neighbor paid. And their house is bigger than mine. Their house, the my, ne my neighbor's house is like double the square footage of mine. So I was not expecting it to be more than way more than what they paid. I expected to maybe pay about the same because, you know, a year later, but I wasn't expecting it to be way more than what they paid. So, but I saw on the website last week that the company is doing their March sale. So I'm going to call this year and see how much it is. Um, and last year also they were said that they were they, the supplies were so behind that I wouldn't have been able to get it until for six months and then by then um, it would have been almost like six months that would have been already September and by then it's like ah it would have been past the hot season um, so I'm gonna see how much it is this year and I think if if it's not, if it's about the same as what my neighbor paid, I think I'll go for it. Um, it's just, yeah. It unfortunately, it's getting hotter in the summers. Watch, this summer is not going to be that hot. Um, <laughs> it, it was, it was, it was getting hotter in the summers. That I think it might be one of those things that we just kind of need now. Is AC. So that, and especially now that, you know, I'm working from home a little bit more often. So I think if it was that hot, I'd be like, I'm going to work every day. But it gets hard to sleep when it's that hot too, so. And my mom, you know, 
was like last year she's like it was too hot you guys need air conditioning i'm like mom you were living in the philippines last year and she's like it's still too hot <laughs> so yeah okay it's one of the carrot things so i think no it's this one the one that's going in that direction Okay, so the arrow's pointing that way. <laughs> Just need to, because there's another one, this one, it's pointing the other direction and they're both blue. So I'm like, okay. So hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how much all of this thing stuff costs. <laughs> But I don't know. Am I going to be one of those? Well, let's just suck it up. <laughs> or, no, you need that AC. Go put it in. All right. So I think I've run out of stuff to talk about. So I'm going to start answering questions. So, okay. First question. We're just going to do this in order. Uh, so actually the first one I'm going to do is actually the newest question. So Parthana asked, I love your tray. Where did you get it from? Oh, let's see. I have to click the picture. Oh, okay. Um, Cause you know, it's one of, actually one of my older videos. So the tray I was using in that video was actually this here. It's this leaf tray. Um, I got this from a budget diamond painting company. I don't know which one, but most of them have the same thing. You can also probably buy this on Amazon if you Google leaf tray. I bet leaf diamond painting tray. I bet you it will pop up. Um, wait, which carrot am I doing? It's this carrot. I already had done this one, so. Notice there's the other direction carrot here. All right, thank you. Um, craft therapy with Amanda asks, where and what are you using to find the DMC that are the same? Is it an app or a website? It's actually a website. Um, it's called, let's see. Uh, it's called Threadbare thread with dash bear b-a-r-e um, i'll put the link when i when i respond to this this comment i'm i'll put the link in the video if i didn't already it might already be linked in the video um but yeah it's just a website that um it's just the closest dmc thread chart um, thing and then I just type it in and then it gives me like five choices of the closest DMC and I was oh, so this is a question in one of my oh last week's whip and chat I think it was last week's whip and chat where I was working on a cross stitch pattern similar to this just in a smaller form and I and I didn't kit it up so I didn't have all my drills and I didn't have a certain color so I just looked for a substitution and sometimes that's all you need to do you don't you don't have to go buy it if you think your your picture can handle the substitution and it probably could then all, you could always use that instead Oh, one more, two more, oh, three more over here. I do notice in this tray here, I do have, I dropped one somewhere. Maybe, there it is. I do have like two shades in here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell. Like that one is a little bit lighter than the other one. It's also a little bit smaller because I think the other one is a resin drill and the other one is not a resin drill. That's what I've noticed when you have a resin drill and a 
acrylic drill in the same tray, you can see the size differences, unless it's a small resin drill. <laughs> So thank you, Amanda. So Sim Angel 90 asked, uh, what size black paper do you use to put your finished diamond paintings on and where did you order it from? I'm having trouble finding black paper, like the kind you use. So I've been using black construction paper. I don't know if you're in the US, but I think outside of the US, they have all of those other paper sizes like you know the A4, A3, A2 they don't have that in the US and usually those paper sizes you can even buy like cardstock versions of those paper um, unfortunately the bigger size papers like that are just not that available in the US so I've been using construction paper black construction paper um, for my backing, most of my backing. You could probably, yeah. Otherwise, I, the only thing I could think of is using poster board. Um, but yeah, black construction paper. I have, I have two sizes of them, 12 by 18 inches, and then a 18 by 36 inch one. Um, is it 18 by 36? No, 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 it's 24 by, wait, 24 by 32, wait. One is a 12 by 18, and then the other one is an 18 by 24. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you can buy a 24 by 36 inch um, construction paper. I've seen it. I just don't have it. Um, so thank you, Sim Angel. Uh, Christina asks, I don't think I've seen this finish in your channel. Did you ever get around to doing it? I'd love to see the end product. Let's see. What What is this one? I have to click it. Uh... Oh, it's my, it's a crafties one that, well, I did see it was crafties. Um, it's the, my, my light bulb looking picture. And no, I actually have not finished that one. Um, I think I have three crafties in my, currently in my stash that I have not finished. And that is one of them. So nope, it's not on my channel. At this point. Oop. This one's very full. So, you know, since I am using like my stash drills for this, I have noticed that there's a couple of my colors that are a little bit more mixed than I want, like with a couple differing shades, but it hasn't been, sh it hasn't been affecting the picture that much. And it's probably not as obvious as I think. Like, there's a purple here. Like, this purple here, I think it's supposed to be all the same purple, but I can see two different shades in there. But it doesn't look too bad. It's more obvious when <laughs> you pour it onto your train. You're like, ah, oh, look, those are two different shades. But on a, on a picture like this, I don't think it's as noticeable. Um... So when you get to these last 
uh, amount of colors here that's left is usually when it takes the longest. Like the ones with like the massive color, like I tend to diamond paint like most to least. So once you start getting to these like little ones left over, it's one, the colors that you've already done, but you just missed it for whatever reason. And then it's, and then there's the ones that are just really far apart. Why can't I find anything? Okay, I remember seeing this one. Yeah, it's in there. All right, so thanks, Christina. Betsy asked, I see. This was in my last whip and chat. If you feel the need to satisfy every viewer, why don't you find a photo of yourself that you really like and at the end of the video just pop up with the picture in, sc in screen and say, hey guys, look, everybody is happy. Love your videos and I like having every type of spirits. Thank you for your um, information. I th oh, this was in response to someone asking if I would ever show my face on the channel and I have yet to do it and it was mainly I was I had meant to I had meant to do it at the end of my two year YouTube anniversary video and it just didn't happen. And but you know that might actually work. Um, just me being like here, here's a picture of me if you really want to see how I look. Instead of me being in front of the camera. Thanks for the suggestion. Instead of me being in front of the camera and <laughs> recording it. Okay, so Gloria as the see Joan, when you're calculating how many drills for a painting, do you use centimeters or inches? Um, it's easier to use um, centimeters for diamond paintings because each, like each of these square drills, are 2.5 millimeters, so or 0.25 centimeters. So there's four drills in one centimeter um, across. Four drills across in one centimeter. So it's a little bit easier to calculate how many of things you need. From, from that. And a lot of cross stitch patterns, at least the ones I've seen, have a quantity of stitches needed for that color. I know, I know a couple, I think, I think a couple of cross stitch patterns have like, just tells you how many um, rolls of thread, I don't know what they call it, like those amount of thread, um, but a lot of them also just say how many quantity wise of stitches for each one and you don't so then you don't normally actually have to calculate how many drills because it'll just tell you how many stitches of the thing you need. Do I need any more of this? Nope. Okay, I think I might just go through my numbers and just do them one at a time instead of trying to look for them. Because since now I'm doing the final touches of the things that are not that. Sometimes I do just dab and paint from the cap. Okay, I think I got all that one. I need that one. I don't see it. This one. Don't see that. No. No. I think I need this one. Okay. So thank you, Gloria. Lily. Let's see. Hi, Joan. I'm with you on your old dentist. Hope this new one continues to do a good job despite having to pay more. Before I forget, I like the color of your DP pen. Did you? 
unbox this one. I may have missed it. May I know what company you got this pen from? I think it's just actually the same pen that I'm getting here. I got this from one of the budget diamond painting stores. So and and I've noticed that they all do kind of tend to have the same what the symbol am I on? The percentage. <laughs> they all do kind of have the same stock. So just look out for it in a look out look for it in a in the accessories, the diamond painting accessories section, and it should be there. But I, I I like this one. It's like I don't have that many of these color ones, and it's 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 really it's a really pretty simple one, and it's not too fat. I have I have small hands, so I can't do the fat um, diamond painting pens. They they just I just feel like I guess so. I have to get these smaller, thinner ones. It, this one is not my favorite pen though. It's it's a little bit on the heavy side and I've I've mainly been using it for this purpose because I was like, okay, I need like a completely different pen so I know this is the pen I'm using pink wax on. So yeah, see, I, this is the pen I'm using pink wax on that side, pink wax on here. So, and I don't switch out my pens so I kind of know which pen is good for what kind of thing. So this is my pink wax pen. That one. Do I need this? This one. I see. So thank you, Lily. Teresa, out of service provider, I would ask them why you have to pay anything at a regular cleaning. I just say I don't understand, and could they repeat it in another way? Yeah, I think I, I think it, I don't know. I did ask my coworker, um, who so this was about my dentist that I was talking about last week, where I was kind of shocked that I had to pay extra money to do just the regular cleaning and X-rays because I hadn't done that before. I hadn't had to pay. before and you know I do see this one here and the way they explained it to me was that they were a PPO premier and my my insurance didn't cover their completely their stuff and then I asked my coworker if she got charged for her appointments and she said yes and she just kind of was like she had been at this dentist a long time already that she kind of thought it was normal to pay for it so I'm thinking maybe maybe my my co-worker has always had to pay a little bit on top of her um, insurance and I've always been the opposite where I've never had to pay on top of my insurance so my my coworker just thought it was normal to have to pay a little bit more for the dentist appointment. So yeah, that's why when I asked her, I was like, did you have to pay? She's like, yeah, but she, she's been going through that person for years and just didn't realize. And I'm guessing, I'm wondering if like a, a previous dentist that she had, she's always had to pay. Cause she, I don't know, cause she's, she's, she's older than me. So she's been going to a dentist longer than I have. So maybe she's always been used to having to pay a little bit for a dentist appointment. But yeah, no, it was it was just one of those strange things that I just was unsure about because it was the first time I ever had to pay for just the regular cleaning. I've had to pay for like if I had like a cavity, which I've had once in my adult teeth and I had to pay more for that, but nothing, nothing, like if it was just a normal cleaning, just a normal x-ray, I'd never had to pay extra. But yeah, so my coworker thought it was normal. So I, I think I'll stick with the dentist. Um, as long as the extra pay is not like exuberant, I think I'll stick. I'll stick with them, un unless something. Yeah, unless unless like there's some crazy like expense, and I'm like, um. 
because I, I liked, I liked the fact that I was a able to make an appointment. Um, because I think that was my problem with my last dentist. It's just the hardship of making an appointment and, and that to me implies they have too many, too many patients or something or, and maybe the reason the, this other place had space for appointment is other people were like, I'm not paying extra for dentists. So maybe this is one of those, I'll just kind of have to suck it up if I want to have a good dentist ex experience. And then soon it'll just be like, eh, it wasn't that much. And just keep going to it. So Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea said, Now Joan, if I could show my ugly mug on my video sometime, surely you could. I'm sure you're beautiful. Can you not film a clip on your phone camera and add it to your video at editing? I usually film an intro. It's not difficult and you should summon up the courage. We'd love to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know why you guys want to see my face so much. Um... I think, I think it's just one of those things. It's just like, I don't really take that many pictures of myself either. I'm not one of those ones that take constant selfies, which I'm like, I guess I'm so totally un-Filipino, which I read somewhere that the Philippines was like one of the places that's taken, takes like the most selfies in the world. Um, well, I don't live in the Philippines, so maybe that might be why, but... <laughs> but yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah. It'll be it'll be one of those like surprise. I'm not even going to say I'm going to do it, and then suddenly I'm going to be there at the end of the video. And it's not going to be the beginning of the video. It would be at the end of the video, um, because mainly because only twenty percent of my twenty percent of my views make it all the way to the end of the video. So that's why I said if I was going to show myself on a video, it would be at the end. Yep, it's just one of those, gather up the courage. You get so used to recording the video this way where you're not in front of the camera that going the other direction seems a little bit scary. Maybe. Yeah, like I said, maybe one day. <laughs> Or I might just do the show picture of myself. Okay. Oh, wait, I see actually this one that I had skipped because I didn't see any. There's one over here. Sometimes I could actually pick up a drill that way, but nope. Diamond. Okay. Pamela said, Hi Joan, just a quick question. Are DMC codes and their colors the same for every diamond painting company? Or is it possible for a few colors to have different DMC codes from others? Um, as far as I know, the DMCs are pretty universal between the companies. Um, the, the differences might just be the shade. So even though they might have the same DMC, they might look slightly different, but otherwise the code is the same. It's the same code they use for like cross stitch too. So it's, it's a pretty old code. I think when I went, looked up DMC, I think it was from like the, the 1800s, like the 1850s. It's been around, it's been around a while, the code. So yeah, it's universal. Some companies don't use DMC though, like Diamond Dots use has their own their own scheme. And some don't even bother listing what code it is at all. Okay, thanks. 
um, Autumn Casey asks, where did you get the big frames at? So most of my bigger frames are actually from Michaels. I usually get them, they're like either the Belmont frames or I don't remember what the other one was called, but they're, the other one is not as pretty as the Belmont frames, but they have a little bit more size selections. And I usually get the frames from Michaels when they're at least 50% off or um, the best sale I've seen so far was the buy one get two free sale. So yeah, most of my frames, Michaels. And they're like the poster frames. And I tend to buy just the ready-made ones. And that's why sometimes when a diamond painting is like some strange size, I get annoyed by it. I'm like, this is such a strange size. How am I going to frame this? Like for this frame, for this picture, um, let's see, it's a 43 by 60.75. I'd probably try to buy the um, 18, 18 by 24 inch frame. That would be slightly bigger than the 43. The 60.75 I think might fit in that one. And there'll be a little bit of space um, on the sides, so I'll have to add like a back paper in it, but a lot of diamond paintings, are, some of the diamond paintings are not conventional sizes. I don't need that one. There's one of this one. So I usually just go bigger. I know some folks cut their diamond paintings. I'm like, Ugh, I am not cutting my diamond painting. You spend all this time diamond painting it to just cut a row off or two rows or something. It just makes me cry. So <laughs> no, no to the cutting for me. Or you could go slightly bigger and then have like a mat around it or just have like a backing paper in the back. It's a little bit easier than the mat. I still have yet to try my mat cutter. Um, I think it's just one of those, it seems a little bit scary to try and for me and then I'm just like, and then I just, you know, you just keep kind of postpone, postponing and trying it out. Okay, we need this one over here. This one, I see a couple here. It's really satisfying when you hear that crunching sound. That's why I like the stuff with minimal gapping. You hear that like crunch of you putting the putting the drills in there. I have a couple of this one. Okay. Um, Miss Yankee asks, very cool. I might get the world scenes. Also, did you know that Target sells diamond paintings? Thank you for sharing. You know, I... I didn't know that. I ha it's been a while since I've been to Target. It's not it's not that close to me. The closest Target to me is, is not that close. Um, but I did. I remember seeing some um, like diamond paint, diamond dots, diamond paintings at Walmart. Um, I was gonna get something, but I didn't like any of the designs enough to buy it. But I saw it was. They were like ten dollars. Um, I think for like maybe a 40 by 50 ish size. Um, but I do like how more common diamond painting has become 
it'll, it'll make it easier to buy the crafts because when I started most of the time you had to buy the diamond paintings from from like China or something they weren't as easily available or you uh, and everything you pretty much had to buy it online there was very few places that had diamond paintings in physical stores and I think the craft has gotten bigger since I started um, which I did start during the lockdown during the pandemic well I mean are we is there still kind of a pandemic I don't know So yeah, the diamond paintings have become a little bit more available. And hopefully as they become a little bit more available, maybe they will also become a little bit more affordable. Because some, some diamond paintings are pretty expensive. But I suggest buy the stuff that you can afford. And remember, <laughs> this will take you hours to do. Um, I think a lot of us have those like mentality that we have to buy it because it will run out kind of thing. And I've stopped, I've stopped having that kind of mentality because I just know realistically, I'm just not ever going to be able to get to all of them. And if it does run out and you never get to do it, then um, there'll be another one. There'll be, there'll be more. I remember seeing this one, this symbol. Oh, there it is. Um, there'll be more. I mean, I know I have way more diamond paintings. I, if I didn't get any new diamond paintings starting today, if I got no new ones, I, and I just worked on what was in my stash. I wouldn't finish what's in my stash this year. Might take me like two, three years. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, it'll probably take me, yeah, a couple years to finish what's currently in my stash. <laughs> yes, I have that many diamond paintings. Okay, so I missed a couple, even though during my go through each one. So now I feel like, oh man. It's always these last couple that that you miss. These last couple that you miss are hard. Okay, next question. Elizabeth asks, hi Joan, do you mix your diamond dots with your other drills? You know what? I have yet to do a diamond dots diamond painting. Yes, you're, you're, I'm like, I, I just, um, they are a little bit more on the expensive side and I have not liked any of their patterns enough I think to buy to do do the extra expense so I have yet to do any diamond dots ones I do have if you look at my links um, I do have my shared stuff um, links I I do have a conversion chart from the diamond dots um, code to DMC so if you wanted to mix it in with your other drills, you could. But I do notice, I do have a couple of the Diamond Dots ABs, like the Freestyle Diamond Dots. And I do notice they have slightly different facets than regular round drills. And if you're okay with mixing it in with your rest of your drills, yeah, you can. You can mix it in. 
but yeah, there is there. Like I said, I have the diamond dots conversion chart in my in my links somewhere in the video description. It's 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 just like a link to my Google Drive, and it should have a whole bunch of diamond painting stuff in there. And let's see, I have equal sign. I just have like two more drills left that I need to do. Equal sign and number seven. I should totally put these in like order of like symbol, but I haven't. And I'm like, I'm almost done with this thing. <laughs> you would think that I'm like, Here's number seven. And equal sign. I know the equal sign is like a blue or a gray. Here it is. All right. So I'm done with this section here. Isn't it like really colorful? Look at how beautifully colorful that is. Um, so let me write this down on my journal here. And so on the 26th, of February, I did one hour and 17 minutes. Um, all right, so that just finishing that up took me like an hour and 17 minutes. Um, the one thing with these um, Heaven and Earth Designs patterns is they are um, confetti heavy. So, and this is one of the quick stitch ones. So it only has like 50 colors. So it's actually probably less confetti heavy than most of the heaven and earth designs so yeah here it's coming along here uh i should stop doing portrait diamond paintings because it's hard to show the stuff on camera because you're just like so so th at some point this here overlaps here so i do have to finish see this stuff here overlaps here and And huh. There's, it's actually kind of overlaps like this. I was like, why is it so that stuff overlaps a little bit there? So here it is. It's coming along here. Um, and then when I put them together, I'll do these sections in the middle. Just like I said, main reason is so that I'm not going to see the the lines where it's obvious, like you patch them together. And hopefully it'll look more like seamless, but it's looking really nice here. I just have the, there's like two sections down here and then three sections that are really narrow. Like I have two more sections of this size off the bottom and then I have these really narrow sections here and then there's one more tiny section over there and then I'll be done with this but I think it's it's turning out really nice look at look how colorful this thing is all right so that's all I have for today so thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting bye